Well, one of those great wrestling shows that we happened to watch was AEW Rampage, December 9th, 2022. And listen, we've been burying this show for what feels like all year. 100%. A lot of waste of time. A lot of what, why they bother with this. You were talking about not wasting time. They do the video package. The pyro goes off. The bell rings. And John Moxley is in the ring wrestling Kanosuke Takeshita. God damn, what a great match. Mm-hmm. What a great, 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 great match. You so, don't say. Mostly the, the pre-commercial bit is mostly them hitting each other a lot. There's one part where Moxley offers a handshake, but it is a ruse to uh, get the man to lower his guard and slap him some more. Takeshita hits a big hits a big dive. They just keep on hitting each other. So the key to this in the second half especially is that it got to a point where you felt like they were going home. This feels like the home stretch. It's going to be over within like two minutes. And it went like another nine minutes at that pace and intensity, but they never lost the crowd. They maintained that high level for an extended period of time. It was freaking great. Takeshita does a skin the cat spot and hits a lariat so hard he turned himself inside out. Uh, Moxley ended up bleeding, and I, I like the volume of blood I have seen more, but this cut was deep. Yep. Like, like through the forehead to the bone, deep into the brain, and out the other side. And uh, blood spewing everywhere. So, this is AEW. It's John Moxley. Everyone loves John Moxley. But the longer this went, people wanted to see an upset so bad, they began to cheer Takeshita and boo John Moxley. When he sank in the MMA elbows and the curb stomps, they were booing him for hitting his one of his trademark moves. Uh, Takeshita reverses that. The crowd's cheering his stomps. And uh, there's a point near the finish. Moxley's bleeding all over the place. He, he gets a sleeper and transitions to the bulldog choke. And Takeshita sells the choke. He didn't sell the choke, but in the process, managed to brush his hair out of his face so we can see the pain expressions he was going through because he's a pro wrestler, goddammit. And managed that he could not escape, and he passed out. Great God in heaven, what a great wrestling match this was. I want to know how soon we can get the belt on Takeshita. And when we say the belt, I mean any belt! Put a championship on this man right now. Well, I mean, hopefully soon. So these guys have now wrestled twice. Mm-hmm. Yes. And uh, the fans, you know, I don't think anybody, when this was announced, thought that Takeshita was going to win. But Moxley gave this guy so much that by the end, they wanted him to win bad. And thus they turned on John Moxley every time he got any sort of offense because they didn't want him to win. Mm-hmm. Bless you, sir. Bless Excellent. You. Yeah. Excellent timing on the mute button. Thank you. But yeah, they uh, they wanted him to win bad, and uh, and he didn't. But you know what? Man, I don't know if they have a plan, but uh, they need to wrestle again 100%. in about six months. And this time, Takeshi needs to get him. Yeah. And I don't know when it's going to happen. I don't even know if, if it's going to happen. But when this match was over, I thought, it must happen. This must be... And, you know, Moxley, you know, he'd put the guy over tomorrow if they wanted him to. He doesn't care. Sure. He's, he'd probably be happy as a clam wrestling this guy every week for the rest of his life. He fucking gave this guy everything mm-hmm. in this match. And it was so great. And, uh, you know, I don't know if we put over this John Moxley bloke enough, but... Uh, the answer is no. You know... We do not put him over enough. Dude, this show, this Rampage show, especially last week, I hated that show. Yeah, yeah. terrible. And, uh, like, literally, you have to just call John Moxley and go, I want you to have, like, a great match with Takeshi on this show. And this shit's going to happen. It like, solves all problems. Th- he will solve any problem for you. And, uh, anyway, he solved the problem of this show. This fucking match was so great. And uh, I was, I was like, on, on Wednesday, I was thinking, man... Are we going to fucking even review Rampage this week? Is it time for me to make a call to Tom and go, you want to review something else, and Vinny and Craig and I will take over SmackDown on Sundays? And then they announced this match, and I was like, all right, we're going to watch it one more time. Mm. Well, now they bought themselves more time. Yeah. Because, god damn, this match was great. And the rest of the show, I don't know if it's because this match was so great, but you know, the rest of the show I found to be a, a really fun show. It's very so, easy uh, yeah. this was a this was a great opener. I don't know if they cut anything, but live, they said this match was long. And on TV, it went 14 minutes. And so my guess is they probably did cut some stuff out of this match. I don't know that for sure. But if they did, man, I want to see the whole match. 
That's what I want to see. Front front to back the whole match. Yeah, John got colored during the commercial, and I actually... What? He bled? All over the place, Brian. Anyway, I went back to see how he did it. He got kicked in the head and then kicked. <laughs> well, of course. Yeah. He didn't fly into the post. Nobody hit him with the chair. He got kicked. This was great. John kept going for the uh, elevated DDT or the Death Rider. Everything, every time he tried, he got foiled. And he would just go back to mat wrestling um, and, and exchanging holds. It was just a beautiful, beautiful match. Loved every and, second. And he finally hit that move, and Takesha kicks out at one. Yes. Oh, yeah. And, you know, we've seen a lot of people kick out at one before. And and anybody can anyone can do it because it's fake, but it's effective when it's the right guy at the right time with the right guy on the right day, and this was exactly right in every conceivable way, and I think that's really what what had them turn on John Moxley when he kicked out of that move. They were like, "Oh man, today's the day," yeah. and then Moxley keeps kicking him, and they're getting mad, like "No," and then he got him. I, Even I actually- loved it. Even at the pinfall, there was a, there was a smattering of boos, and then and then finally they they started cheering John at the, uh, but right right at the three count there was there were people booing. That's that's pretty crazy when you it think was, about it. It was in that middle of eight nine minutes, whatever it was, where it felt like the match could end at any time. And they did the one count spot. On my notes here, I actually wrote: Mox finishes him with elbows and Death Rider, but no, Takesta kicks out at one. I popped myself with the notes. <laughs> so Hangman immediately comes out. He says, I am not cleared due to a brain issue. I guess I'm not thinking straight. And he hits Mox really hard. And they have a big fight until the Blackpool Combat Club breaks it up. The and WWE legendary joke book. book. Why do WWE superstars fingers hurt? <laughs> <laughs> Why Grin. were Gene Erkerlund's pants always so angry? Erkerlund? <laughs> Where does Beth Phoenix shop online? Amazon? The Glamazon! Oh, yeah. Yep. No. No. I mean, no. <laughs> no, that is the answer. Glamazon. That's what I said! <laughs> what? No, you said Gramazon. No, I oh. said Glamazon! <laughs> Oh, there should be a Gramazon. <laughs> yeah, Gramazon, actually. <laughs> you get, like, puppy you get pictures. it to you real slow. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.